Look how fast we can go. We can run right through things, at least until we hit a mob and then we'll just hit it again. I gotta remember to keep rolling, but yeah, we're gonna get to the end of the levels real quick now. Today we're gonna try and find some really fun stuff. Since we last saw each other, I found this axe, Whirlwind, 2074 damage, cast Shockwave. Now it's only level 104, but it does a ton of damage per second. Now if you combine that with my armor, which gives me a speed boost after dodging, I can tear through a lot of these levels very quickly, especially if I activate my mushrooms along the way. I can just run from mob to mob, keeping a very high pace. Now given that I can farm mobs this quickly and make it to the bosses very quickly, that means we can farm loot faster than ever, which means we find better items than ever before. Though a somehow even higher damage weapon would be cool, or even just a better version of my axe. What would be really really cool is some level 108 uniques, though I've only found one level 108 item so far. But our first step is going to be continuing this build a little bit. I can get more items that make me move even faster and attack more. Because as fun as it is killing some of these mobs, you don't really get a lot of loot from them. I'm more interested in the chests and the bosses only right now. This would be a pretty good a test of where I'm at power wise, a redstone golem on max difficulty and he's already dead. Oh, he dropped me a hammer of gravity, my favorite hammer. It's level 104, just like my last one was, with all the right enchantments critical hit, sharpness, radiance, that would be a lot of fun. It just doesn't have that speed or damage that this thing does. First things first, I do want to see how this build holds up against the final boss. So far, so good, he's gonna die very quickly, at least this part. But the second part is probably the better test. Hopefully, I get through him quick, because those lasers sure hurt. Alright, he's up, and I. He's dead. That was way, way easier than I thought for a level 104 broadsword. There is an item here I'm trying to find, I just didn't find it. This sword is definitely kind of fun in itself. 1800 to 3200 damage, extra damage, radiance, radiance, critical hit is what I would build were I to use it. Now this can potentially give me the trinket I'm after. It didn't. Level 104 rare lightning rod cool in itself, not what I want. What I was after was the ghost cloak. I've been throwing these away because I thought they were useless, but I'm pretty sure they're going to help me scoot through levels straight to the bosses. And I could buy about 10 of these right now, so hopefully we find what we need from this guy. I found the level 100 version, that's gonna work for now, because I'm pretty sure that's gonna make everything that much faster. Briefly gain ghost form, allowing you to move through mobs and absorb some damage plus 14% speed, so that'll help me get through faster. Now let's put this to the test really quick in this level. Oh yeah, this is gonna work out really nice. We're gonna sneak through all these levels straight to the boss. Now let's look at how fast it cools down, it's basically ready to go again right away. As long as I'm rolling and using this thing, I'll get through everything. And when I do want to stop and kill some cows through some experience, I have that option too. Level 115 now, and I get more enchantment points for every time I do level up, so that means I can build more and more items. Picked up a strength potion along the way, so now I'm doing huge damage. Not even sure what he can drop for me, but I did get another Sun's Grace, which is level 106, so that's definitely up there. Heals allies in the area, not really my style. I've also just realized I have a unique Ember Robe, level 105, that burns nearby enemies, but has a 25% artifact cooldown and 15% movement speed. Those are both things that are going to help me move faster. And to that, I'm going to add Final Shout, Protection, and Frenzied. When you're at less than half health, your attack speed is increased, which sounds important. So already, we have a trinket that helps me move faster, plus the armor, we could use another trinket. I've been throwing the wind horn away forever because I thought it was stupid. Now I kind of see where it would be a benefit to me. Or was it the boots of swiftness? I don't remember now. Either one I'm sure would help my cause. So let's see what this looks like with an extra 15% movement speed. Yeah, we're gonna get through this level nice and quick and we're already ready to do our ghost cloak again. It's that quick. I'm definitely not nearly as tanky, but I can run through most things. And that is going to be the trade-off for now. I'm going to be going faster and getting loot faster than ever, but it's going to be a bit of a challenge taking damage. But if I do start taking damage, all I have to do is start swinging my axe and I get healed again. I am already loving this build though, just for that extra movement speed. That's going to get me to all that loot that much faster, because it's really painful doing levels again and again and again. When I do find a swiftness potion, I go extra extra fast. And then killing mobs is extra easy, because I can just run from one to the next and destroy them before they even have a chance to do anything about it. I remember these guys used to be really hard to deal with because of all the enemies they'd spawn. Now I hardly even notice they're there. Definitely wasn't rewarded with the item I wanted. So it's back to what we know, got a few tries at this. And wouldn't you know it, we found us a windhorn. Okay, it's the boots I was thinking of. This pushes enemies away. I want to be able to move fast. So I'm going to run either Creepy Crypt or Desert Temple until I find some boots of swiftness. Either level has a lot of chests. Because I can make it to this room in like 60 seconds flat. And that's really important because that room connects to this room down here. Which always has this sitting in it. And this is a good potential for drops. Didn't get one this time, but given how fast I can get here, I'm liking this. Plus this room has several chests in it by itself, so there's high potential for unique items. For this boss fight, I think I might try and use my arrows more, because getting close to him kind of really hurts. Because if I time it carefully, I can get in between him with some of that and get him with a lot of arrows that are going to melt them pretty quick. To be fair, this bow does melt everything pretty quick, even these guys, because it has piercing effect. Uh, it's too much work to get in between those all. Let's just do it the old-fashioned way and hit him with the axe. Soul knife, not what I was looking for. 
and didn't get what I wanted here. I did find 7 items total just from that one level though and that's actually a lot. Just found Thief Armor. It's nothing special but Thief Armor does have 25% melee attack speed. That would be fun to stack with some other items. And a loot pig just dropped me Truth Seeker level 104. But I've already got one level 105 so it's garbage. And the boss dropped me this 104 Venom Glaive. Pretty fun weapon, not what I'm after. But look what it rewarded me with. 105 rare boots of swiftness. And they have an even quicker cooldown than my ghost thing. This only takes 5 seconds. So I'm going to try the boots in combination with the ghost cloak and the mushroom. That way if I do have to fight things, I can do it in a hurry. Because that's what this is all about. Finding loot the fastest way possible. Look how fast we can go. We can run right through things. At least until we hit a mob and then we'll just hit it again. I gotta remember to keep rolling. But yeah, we're going to get to the end of the levels real quick now. The downside is it is just a little hard to control and know where you're going. But once I get used to it, it'll be real easy. This is going to save so much time if I can continually move that fast. Like... Think about how quick I can get to the end of the level now. I also just realized I've been rolling this entire time thinking it would give me a speed boost. Then I noticed it wasn't and that's because I switched my wizard robe. Look what it gave me. Whirlwind level 104. That's the same axe I'm using now. It is one level less with way worse enchantments. So I'm just going to go ahead and salvage it. And I think we're at about that point at level 117. I don't think I can make my guy any faster or able to find loot any better. So let's start looking for the rare versions of items with the best enchantments or at level 107 or 108. While also spending every gem I have on the blacksmith. One of the main things I'm going to be after is the right version of the gauntlets, the unique very high level ones. Even with all my available speed boosts that's still going to take a while because the chance of them dropping is so rare. But not only is this a very practical build for finding loot it's also just a lot of fun. Because while it is quick and not overly tanky it still does a ton of damage. One thing I am going to have to keep my eyes out for is a weapon that gives me extra gems. Because as quick as this is I can move around to loot really quickly I can't help but wonder if I was farming gems more if that would be faster. So if I manage to find a weapon with two, three, or even four prospectors on it, I'm going to give it a try. And I know the creepy crypt can drop the diamond pickaxe which has prospector built into it. So if I found that with, I don't know, maybe three extra prospectors on it, we'd really have something. Yeah, it's not a diamond pickaxe, but that is a bone bow, 105. Which could be fun in itself because arrows grow in size, which means they get up to 2555 damage, and it also has accelerate, infinity, and power for extra, extra damage. Plus there's just something amusing about those big giant arrows when they're stuck into enemies. I should maybe consider getting a bow with extra tempo thefts if I can find one too, because 50% speed stolen, I could be moving down much quicker. So I'm going to keep my eye out for one of those. And no, I don't already have one I just checked. Is it bad that I'm not even getting that excited anymore from finding a unique even if it's level 107? To be fair though if that has some amazing enchantments it could be an incredible weapon. It does have one single prospector enchantment on it but interestingly the last attack in a combo performs a swirling attack. This has a reliable combo which means an endless combo as far as I know. So what happens if you do equip it with one of those? Does it do that many finishing moves? Let's find out. We can spare two points for now. I just want to see if that actually works. No, it just does it every once in a while, apparently. Okay, it triggers every fourth hit. Definitely could be a fun weapon, but not enough other enchantments to make me want to play with it. I did just find another auto crossbow, which is the same one I use now. It is one level better, but with lesser enchantments. It definitely feels kind of bad that I'm not often finding new items, but that's kind of a good problem to have. That means everything I have is already so good, it's hard to find something better. And like I said, this really is just a fun build to use. Want to see an easy boss fight? That's a redstone golem. Versus my bow. You know what, I actually expected it to be a lot quicker than this, but this works too. Blended Robe, level 105. Definitely already have one of these, but these could be fun because 50% artifact damage is huge. I found a room in the mines that actually has 5 spawners in it, so I could in theory just sit here and endlessly farm experience because mobs will just continually spawn. And they'll basically continually do that as fast as I can kill them. Even at my very fastest, they're coming in as fast as I can deal with them. Correction, once you deal with most of them, it slows down a lot. The zombies are coming in so slowly, I'm better off just running around killing mobs. Well, wouldn't you know it, another bone bow that isn't even as good as the last one thanks to its enchantments. Since it still isn't quite fast enough for my liking, here's what I'm going to do. We're going to sacrifice a dancer sword so I get my two points back and then I'm going to put those into tempo theft on this bow. That way I can put it there for extra extra speed. Now I've just got to shoot things with my bow until it triggers and then I can use my other perks and I'm a little bit faster because of it. It doesn't make a huge difference but every little difference adds up to a lot of time over the hours I spend grinding. I also just found a level 100 double axe with double prospector on it. I'm tempted to try that out. I want to see if I can find something better first. I randomly just picked up the Maulers from a random mob. They're level 105, but I'm not sure if these are the gloves I want or not. I think there's two versions. Now here's the deal. It's been about four, maybe five hours since I finished my high speed looting build. And I'm pretty sure the last thing we saw me get were the Maulers. I haven't bothered to try these because they are the wrong ones, but I have found some other interesting weapons, including a level 107 unique Claymore 
and a level 108 unique claymore, only the second level 108 item I've even found. Not sure exactly how rare this is, but I imagine pretty rare, considering again, it's only the second 108 I've ever found. Its enchantments are okay, they're not great, they're not terrible, they're workable. First off, we're gonna give it Swirling for an extra 2070 damage. And Committed, deal increased damage against an already wounded enemy, so we're getting 100% bonus damage to everything we've already hurt. And lastly, I'm probably gonna go with Radiance. I might do Gravity. I'm gonna see how the weapon performs before I commit to that, because I'm learning. I've found a few good pieces of armor along the way, but nothing better than what I've been using damage-wise. Oh, and by the way, I'm level 143 now, because because I've done that much grinding. Anyways, let's put this to the test. So we're hitting for 6,500. There is a hit for 9,500. Almost 10,000 damage. So let's see exactly how good this sword is, especially against the cows. That was kind of a weak hit, but I think overall it's going to do pretty good, especially with the swirling in the end. There's some good critical hits, but let's step it up just a little to see what we can do. Taking some damage already, but yeah, I think this sword's going to work out real good. Look at those cows go flying. Yeah, I'm going to like this. I thought it might be a little on the slower end, but this one, I think it's going to work out just fine. In a perfect world, I'd maybe have this with better enchantments, but as it is, I'm not going to complain. Especially considering that I'm probably never going to find an another level 108 Claymore ever again, and especially not a unique one. All right, well, let's see what the big boss thinks of this. So far, taking pretty big chunks out of his health. Maybe not the highest damage per second we've ever done, but probably the biggest individual hits. I saw one as high as 12,000. And this is without critical hits or sharpness. I saw as high as 15,000 for a single hit. I think that one was actually 23,000. So yeah, this is definitely capable of doing some damage. Didn't drop me anything good. If only it had critical hit. Or even sharpening, I could be doing hits up to 50,000 with a regular critical hit. The next thing I would like to try and find would be Thief Armor in its unique form, because that gives you 25% attack speed. But apparently it's pretty hard to find, because I've run this level a lot tonight. But I also didn't do it with a massive claymore. Um, you might not believe this, but I think I just found it, and I'm... I killed three enemies so far in this level. It's only level 104, but I'm not going to complain right now. 4,970 health, 3% lifestyle aura, 25% attack speed. In order to build this, we've got to sacrifice something, so my 107 flail, we're going to have to salvage it. Despite my level, I need more points. For enchantments, I went with protection, snowball, and final shout. We're going to give this a try to see if it makes much of a difference. It does look kind of cool. Not sure if I'm going to need the attack speed or the damage in the end. I mean, so far the attack speed is kind of nice. Uh, everything's just basically dying either way so it's kind of hard to tell which is actually better. I'm at the point where I'm just so overpowered that it doesn't really matter what I choose. Getting some pretty good hits after the strength potion. I saw one as high as 25,000 but I know we can do better than that. I feel like I don't even need TNT at this point. Saw so a critical hit for 38,000 there. All right let's put this sword and armor combination against the boss and see how this goes. Definitely taking pretty big chunks of that health away and we're done. That was pretty quick. Still Wish I had more damage options on this sword. Well, I guess this is what happens when you make the ultimate looting build and then grind for five hours. 